What's up love bugs? I am back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shanique Martinez for all those who are just tuning in. Thank you so much. And if this is your first time checking out my channel, make sure you are subscribed and your notification bell buttons are on. I do uploads every Tuesday and every Saturday. So make sure those post notifications are on. You guys can't already tell by the title, I am doing another cleanser review. Amazon legit made me buy this. I went to Amazon, typed in facial cleansers, and this was one of the top rated facial cleansers. So I went off of what people have voted high, what was Amazon's choice, Amazon's highly, you know, uh, rated products. This is not my first time doing a cleanser review on my channel. I will leave the playlist above and below. I want to say I've done about 20 cleanser reviews, if not more, maybe a little bit less, but I've done a lot of cleanser reviews. So if you guys don't know, I have dry sensitive skin. I'm allergic to salicylic acid. I'm allergic to cleansers with high, well, pretty much anything with a high content of soy. I'm allergic to anything with kiwi, dragon fruit, which makes sense because they're part of the same family. I don't like a lot of fragrances because fragrance does tend to irritate my skin. Like I said, I do have sensitive skin. So sometimes I do pick up cleansers with fragrances in them because it doesn't irritate me. It's just a hit or miss for me, but I do like to try out new cleansers to see what will cleanse my makeup off and you gentle enough to be for a daily wash. I have seen this in um, Target. I've seen this in Walmart clearly it was on Amazon I've seen it in Ulta I've just never bothered to pick it up so I decided to go ahead and check it out since it was highly rated on Amazon so let's see if this was a good Amazon purchase so it again the brand is La Roche Projet it is for normal to dry skin you get 13.5 fluid ounces I paid $14.99 which that equates to like a dollar and ten cents per ounce fluid ounce it says that it's a hydrating gen gentle cleanser dermatologist tested safe for sensitive skin gently cleanses while retaining essential moisture it is soap free sulfate free fragrance free and it has niacinamide and carmide 3 in it the shelf life on this is 12 months it even has an expiration date on it y'all that's pretty dope it says the expiration date is 323. I think that's longer than 12 months. Yeah, because we're in 2021, so somebody lying. Um, so I'm actually just gonna go off of the shelf life because I feel like after you hit that certain point, you can actually tell when products don't work that well. They start to get watered down and lose its consistency. So I pretty much do stick by the shelf life, even though this one actually does have an expiration date on it. Anyways, so like I said, it's soap-free, sulfate-free, oil-free, fragrance-free, allergy-tested, paraben-free. It states that it's like it's for dry skin types, including sensitive skin types, wet skin with lukewarm water, pump cleanser into hands, massage into skin in a gentle circular motion, rinse thoroughly, pat dry without rubbing. For probiotic benefits, use the Tolerant Double repair moisturizer so i did not pick up the second step anybody who knows me knows i don't like to get caught up in the systems of skincare or hair care or anything like that i like to dabble and play and pull from different brands that's just personally me but if you are interested they do suggest to pick up their moisturizer which i feel like every product does that no matter whether it's skin or hair they always tell you to pick up something else so I went ahead and picked it up because it is rated four and a half stars on Amazon. And you guys already know, I actually really, really like products with niacinamide in it. If you don't know anything about niacinamide, I actually did a, um, a serum review on niacinamide. Okay. 
and so if you guys do want to see what that's all about basically it's just a extra barrier that helps support the pores in your skin it pretty much stops your skin from looking so texturized so that's 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 what um, people typically use that for this product doesn't smell like anything I wouldn't expect it to because it is fragrance free so I'm going to check it out to see if I like this cleanser or not, if it leaves me hydrated. I'm also going to do what I did in my last cleanser review, do half makeup and half non-makeup so you guys can see if I need to double wash. And if I do need to double wash, does it dry my skin by double washing? And then I'm going to wash it on the non-makeup side. So keep watching. What's up guys? So I am filming the part of the review. Uh, you can tell I started off with a makeup side and a non-makeup side. You guys, I did that because this cleanser states that it's skin of dirt, makeup, and impurities while maintaining skin's natural moisture barrier and pH. It helps restore skin comfort and retains essential moisture. Leaves skin feeling clean, comfortable, and hydrated. So I wanted to test out if the makeup side requires a double wash or not. And you guys will see in the video it actually did require a double wash. And once I did the double wash, you guys, my face was on fire. You can see in the screen that um, my cheeks did get really red and really irritated. I'm not sure if it was the niacinamide or the crimide 3 my three sorry if I'm saying that wrong I am not really sure which one of them irritated my skin more than the other they are pretty low on the ingredients um, section so it might have been something completely different and the first ingredient on here is water so this is a pretty much a water-based cleanser so it could have been anything else in this in the um, cleanser itself I'm not really too familiar with some of these I've tried things with glycerin that normally doesn't irritate my skin so I'm not thinking it's that um, but I'm gonna play around just to check out the ingredients to see what else could have possibly irritated my skin but you guys can definitely see this was from my personal experience this is not a sensitive skin product it definitely did leave my skin feeling irritated but what I will say is that after the double wash my face did not feel dried out it didn't feel as moisturized as I wanted it to but it didn't feel dried out the first time I washed my face my face definitely did feel extremely like hydrated almost which is funny because I don't see that it has any hyaluronic acid in it um, but there's other components that can hydrate your skin so I'm not surprised by that but um, after the double wash I could see that my skin definitely did get irritated and it definitely did um, feel less hydrated so if you are going to use this I would definitely say use a cleansing oil before you start with the wash because the wash is not going to pick up all the dirt the first time you will have to double wash but sound off in the comment section let me know what you guys think if you guys have tried this product out until next time bye